So the last of December 2024, we will introduce the first phase of a, a zero emission zone. And um, the reason why we are doing it is to create a, a better air quality in this area. Also, we have found a, a spot for the first phase where a lot of people walk and, uh, and cycle. We also want to lower the uh, sound pollution or the, the sounds in this area. And one reason is also to, um, to uh, create the right incentives for the, the industries and for businesses who want to continue this shift to, to uh, get the right uh, playing field for that um, continued uh, shift. So there are many cities in the world talking about air quality and also in combination with urban quality and urban realm. More and more people are interested in spending time in the city centers and we need to attract them there for them to want to do that. What we want to do here is to do the, the most like advanced and progressive uh, kind of zero emission zone and it includes uh, cars and also uh, transport um, vans and so on and lorries. And I'm really in favor of Stockholm and other capitals taking the lead role in uh, transitioning uh, to more green cities. Meanwhile, these specific uh, policies do not lead to any positive effects. It only harms local businesses, takes police resources to enforce the ban, and also makes it more difficult for people living in the city and outside of the city that does not have a, uh, can afford a uh, changing vehicle. Well, we're against it, and mainly because of three reasons. First of all, because it harms local businesses, making, for example, deliveries more difficult and expensive. Secondly, because it takes a lot of police resources to enforce this ban. And in times of increasing gang conflicts and violence in Stockholm, it's a very questionable prioritization of resources. And thirdly, because it simply don't work. Small steps towards more clean air and a better environment is positive. It will be maybe tough uh, the first year, but then people will ac accept it. Well, maybe it should cost to drive into the center or something else. I think it's cosmetic, this little area just will complicate the things. They, they need to think bigger about the environment, I think. I think it's a good idea because we are living in the neighborhood, think the air is a bit polluted, even though the traffic is not so bad in the center. But still, I think it's a good idea because we need to care about the climate for the future generation. That's my view. We have experiences with low emission zones before, uh, not as strict as this one, but they have worked in reducing local pollution, particle emissions and everything. But uh, we need definitely more in order to scale up the effects and uh, succeed with the transport targets that Sweden has. And that means that we need to accompany these uh, ultra low emission zones with public transport improvements, with cycling lanes and more uh, ambitious measures related to parking in the inner city. So everything that is needed to remove cars from the inner city, not just uh, replace them. Uh, but it's definitely a step in the right direction and it means that it can stimulate uh, the transition towards low emission and zero emission vehicles.